I'm a third generation aerial applicator, as they call it nowadays. And uh, I started out loading these airplanes for my grandfather and uh, back in my early teenage years and didn't really have a choice, so to speak. And uh, this will be, I'll be starting my 11th season this year as a, as a aerial applicator. And uh, that's kind of how it came to be. We had the opportunity, we both, we both looked to try to possibly own our own business one day. And we had the opportunity to purchase two businesses in Desart, which is my hometown. And it worked out really good. They were neighboring businesses, they, the property adjoined. And we keep four airplanes over there now. And we named it Prairie Ag Service and just kind of after Prairie County, just make it pretty simple. So one of the things we have to do for our customers, some of them that have some ground that's a little bit heavier ground, your clay soils, they, it doesn't dry out as fast and they have to apply the rice seed by air. And the way they do that, most of them will take the bags, the super bags of rice, they'll soak them for 24 to 36 hours and then take them out of the water for about that same length of time let the seed develop a small, what we call a pip on it, which is a small sprout, let it crack the kernel. And from there, you take it, load it on the airplane, and seed it like you would. Try to shoot for the same pounds per acre as you would putting it out in a no-till drill. You think sprouted seed would have a long sprout, but it's not, it's just what, like Seth said, a pip. It just cracks the kernel. So it's, it's not actually really wet and, and soaking wet with a long root, but. The hopper's pressurized whenever you go to put the spreader on it. It's got air scoops down there and it pressurizes that hopper and helps push the seed out. Nowadays, a lot of your varieties are hybrid and they go out at a lot lower poundage, so you're covering more acres per load. You know, the other day we were doing 23 and a half pounds the acre all the way up to 27. And uh, at that low of a rate, you know, you're covering quite a few acres per load. We. Uh kind of fancy ourselves in being very flexible in how we get this done. Uh, the, Mother Nature has a lot of uh, input on how we do it. The windows get kind of small in the springtime and we, we have um, learned how to use and other folks have learned how to perfect uh, other tools of getting seed in the ground in a timely fashion. And timely by, I mean by the calendar. Uh, and that's, that's really what these different things uh, give us. Uh, this is a conventional, uh, dry seeded rice. Uh, it's a no-till field. Uh, this year with the cost as, as they are, you know, five dollar diesel fuel, uh, we're not going to spend any more money than we have to. If it's, uh, if, if the field is physically in shape to plant it no-till, that's the way we're going to plant it. Uh, previously, this year we planted about 600 acres uh, with an airplane, aerial seeded rice. And uh, having that tool in the toolbox is, is uh, tantamount to staying on the calendar. Planting, planting rice by air, you know, as Seth told you earlier in these buckshot soils where it takes longer to dry up, especially in a wet spring like we've had this year, uh, they didn't get a lot of ground work done. And uh, especially as high as diesel fuel is, if they can hold their water on their fields, call in the airplane, instead of them having to wait and dry up and work the ground and, and prep it for the drill, you know, whereas they may get 150, 200 acres a day, depending on their size of their operation, we can do you know, 800 to 1,000 acres in a day and saves them a lot of time. Especially when you're looking at, you know, approaching that closing window of planting time on rice. Having the different tools in the box are, are, are very important to us. Um, the last four years we've had really wet springs, starting with the flood in 2019. And uh, it's just been really hard, really short windows of opportunity to get on these farms. Uh, because it's just been too wet. Last May 2021, we did not plant a seed. Not one grain of rice, soybean, or anything else. We, we were precluded from that by all the rainfall. So we've developed the different opportunities, the different tools that we have uh, over time to, uh, to make it happen when we have to make it happen. Uh, the good thing about aerial seeding rice as opposed to uh, uh, dry seeded rice is the cost actually is not that much different. Uh, it takes some timing uh, and it takes some expertise on everybody's part. Uh, you've got to have uh, pilots and aircraft that are, that are capable of uh, doing a really good job 
uh, when you get all those things put together, then the timing uh, and the time on task is actually so low that the cost really kind of goes out the window. You're so happy to get those acres planted, uh, you know, in a timely manner with the, with the uh, calendar that uh, you might pay a little bit more. But all in all, it's very close to about the same. It's a fast process for them to be able to do a lot of acres in one day, where what they might could do in a good day, 200 acres by ground, you know, we can do seven to 800 acres a day with one plane by air. And that really speeds the process up for someone, you know, who farms a lot of low ground, a lot of zero grade rice, keeps them out of a lot of field prep, field work. I mean, it saves them, honestly, what they've spent on using the airplane really saves them on the back end on the amount of field prep it takes for those type of soils.